We now have the pleasure of welcoming Mr. William Saito. He's an advisor for startups at the Innovation Center for Startups at the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Techno Technology in Tokyo, Japan. Mr. Saito, what is your view on how the last economic turmoil has affected the ability of a startup entrepreneurs to start a business? I think specifically in Japan, to be able to start up companies, things haven't really changed. There are a lot of hurdles that uh, are unique to Japan to start up. But all in all, I think that a lot of the famous companies that you need to see here and know about today were all formed in uh, times like this, in times of financial crisis. And so I think that uh, from an opportunity perspective to create a, a sustaining uh, startup company, now is the time. What do you think is the reason behind this kind of counter-cyclical um, development of, of startup companies in terms of their success? Yeah, I think that that's a very good question. That during the bubble eras or when everybody else is starting startups, the barrier to getting funding or the barrier to get people to, to take this and if they fail to go to another startup is a lot lower. In times like these, you're put under normal constraints of, of, of real world business issues. Uh, access to money isn't as uh, prevalent. Not impossible, but not as uh, prevalent. Therefore, your fiscal responsibilities, your budgetary management, I think, are honed and tuned much better during times like this so that when you do grow in times of good years, you still have the fiscal responsibility that makes you successful. From your perspective, also comparing the culture in the Western world and the, and the, the Asian world, what do you think are some of the cultural aspects that affect entrepreneurship? I think the biggest change that I see between Western cultures and Asian cultures is the perception of risk. That a lot of the cultures in Asia don't accept failure as much and to be able to bounce back. Whereas in Western cultures, uh, failure is almost seems as a, as a stepping stone to better things. Um, may I ask, how do you like the symposium so far, the, the opportunity to exchange ideas from people with different backgrounds? I'm actually very impressed. The, the mix between the business people as well as the students and as well as the entrepreneurs give different perspectives that allow people to freely exchange ideas. I think this is a very well-run uh, symposium. Thank you very much, sir, and thank you very much for your time. Thank you.